Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to the show. We are now at the Q&A portion of the show talking about the BGG9. That is the battery grip for the Lumix G9. Very clever, BGG9. And uh, now let's find out what people want to know or they're going to tell me what I just did wrong in the last show. Let's just see. Let me scroll back up to the top of the comments. And if you have any questions or comments, remember just now is your chance. Stick them into the chit chat room that's field, wherever that is. Uh, make sure you put Photo Joseph in front of it so it shows up on my screen red like these do here. And then I will hopefully be able to help you out. Um, all righty, let's see here. We were, there's the pre-show chit chat and Martin's always enjoyed the behind the scenes. Good, I'm glad to hear that. Simply Brandon says, good morning. Oh, you got your popcorn ready? Okay, a pressing question. Okay, come on. Mr. Tom Curley, here we go. Oh, look at that. FYI, Panasonic USA dealers are offering the G9 battery grip for free, what? With a G9 body purchase during the period of April 8th to 28th, a $349 value. Bargain? Thanks, Tom. I'm sorry I didn't see that earlier. That would have been a good thing to yell out during the main show. Uh, that's kind of fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Tom, for sharing that with us. Ryan Bisco Barman says, B&H is adding the grip for free with the camera. Well, there you go. And I guess it's, I did not know that, and now is a very good time to be talking about the grip, isn't it? Martin, yep, G9 shipping with a free grip in many markets at the moment. I suspect in response to Sony and Fuji recent camera releases to grab market share. I have no idea why, but they're doing it, and that's why it matters. Um, and I have just lost my mouse. Excellent. I guess it's time to change batteries in there. Huh, well, that's clever. How am I going to? <laughs> can I do it with this way? Nope. Maybe I can do it this way. Nope. I can do it this way. Nope. Nope. Ah, oh, crap. Well, I cannot get to my chat. <laughs> Ryan is crawling under the camera here on his way to desperately get me some new batteries. That's pretty funny. That's, that's, he's nice. That's real nice. He's trying to be sneaky about it. Um, oh, oh, good. My, it did scroll to the bottom, though. Just something Brandon says, can you check the battery life of the battery grip on the Lumix app in your iPhone? That's a good question. Um, oh, here we go. That is a very good question. Let me see if I can find that out for you. I don't actually know. I like that question, though. All right, let me fire up the, the Wi-Fi's on here. Um, here, I may as well plug into this so you can see this process, because that's kind of cool if you haven't seen that before. Let's plug this in so you can see the screen. And wait for that to sync up. There we go. Uh, give you something to look at in the in the main picture there. There we go. There's we're looking at the looking through the camera. Uh, let's go to the the the, the, the Wi-Fi settings. I don't even know where things are in this. There we go. Wi-Fi. Oh, it's gonna go black. Let's just go back to the view here. It's just black on there now. Oh, TV output in progress. I can't do that while it's because it does. And then you hit on Wi-Fi function. I hit new connection, remote shooting in view. It's it creates the Wi-Fi hotspot, G hotspot, the hotspot G9 something another. And thank you very much. Let's see now if this fires back up. Um, it is powering up. There it is connected. Go into the Wi-Fi's on my phone. I choose G9. There it is. Wait for that to connect. That connects. This the G9 says launch the image app. So I go and I launch the image app. And now let's take a look at what the image app actually sees. So for this, we can do this. So set connection destination, G9, yes. It's odd I haven't seen that control command before. And it says connecting, connecting to camera, connecting to camera, connecting to camera. Well, I should probably turn off my notifications here. There we go. And still connecting to the camera. Oh. Connecting, connecting. Oh, it wants to know whether it should connect to my G9 or my GH5 because apparently I left the GH5 on. Where is that? Um, I have Bluetooth enabled. I've connected these via Bluetooth to the GH5, which means I can connect more easily via the Wi-Fi to the GH5. I covered that all in the GH5 training, by the way, if you have no idea what I'm talking about. What a perfect opportunity for me to show you the GH5 training. Don't forget about that. If you have a GH5 and, um, and, and want to know how to use it, Head over to gh5training.com. Incidentally, I'm not going to do a G9 training video, but a lot of what's in the GH5 training will apply to the G9, just FYIs. Obviously, things like the high-resolution photo mode's not in there, but um, other than that, it is. Uh, largely, is going to be a lot of the same info. Okay, this has connected, so let's quit, switch over to this. Actually, let's do this view. There we go. Remote operation, touch on that, and let's see what we get. Always takes longer to do when you're doing a live demo. I'm getting a blank screen. Excellent. 
Well, this is turning into a fantastic demo of this, isn't it? There is no response from the camera, and there we go. Okay, so, I, I'm gonna be honest, this happens sometimes. Um, yeah, I don't know. That just happens sometimes. Uh, I don't remember if it, if it normally shows you the battery. I wanna say it does. Let me try this one more time. Remote operation, the camera's connected. Camera's connected. Connect. Now this says connecting to Wi-Fi. Great television, I know. Come on, remote, remote operation, connecting. Move to Wi-Fi settings, then connect to the Wi-Fi. So now the phone has decided to give up on the Wi-Fi connection. There we go. Let's go back to the G9 on the Wi-Fi. And that's connected there. Now let's go back to the camera, back to the app. And do -de. I need like Jeopardy theme music going on in the background when we're doing these things. What's going on in the comments here? Um... Mike Walker says, can you recommend an AC dummy battery for system for the GH5? We have, I will link to it down below. Um, I think, actually, I think the one that I bought is no longer for sale, but these things come and go like crazy. Any cheap one with a good review is going to be fine. When it comes to batteries, buy original batteries. Buy Panasonic batteries. Don't buy third-party batteries. Battery tech is too hard and too risky, right? You remember the whole Samsung <clears throat> phone thing? Don't, don't. Don't screw around with cheap batteries. But the AC adapter, that's basic electronics. That's easy to get right. And I've bought a bunch of really cheap ones over the years. I have them for most of my cameras because you can get them for like 20 bucks and they're super convenient to have. So I will link to it. I will link to one down below. But um, but if you go on Amazon or B&H and you search, whatever you find is probably going to be just fine. All right, this is not apparently working today. So I'm um, sorry I cannot answer your question. I don't know why that is happening, but... Um, but there you go. All right, let's back into the comments here. And uh, Estro Digital says, thanks for the BGG9 info. Do you know what the front removable ring is for on the 15 millimeter Lumix Leica lens other than to provide a reference spot for the aperture ring and the cover, the hood mount? The front removable ring. You're not talking about the lens shade, are you? Let me, let me, let me go grab that lens. Um, figure out where that lens is. Let me see, I think. I think sure if that was in my drawer or in my bag. Let me see here. 1517, there it is, right in the drawer. All right, let's see what you're talking about. This is one of my favorite lenses. You hear that a lot on this show. Oh, look, now it's working. Okay, we'll come back to your question. It's decided to work. Um, all right, oh, shush. Let's see, battery, battery, battery status. I do not, see. oh yeah, I see a battery. Okay, there's a battery symbol in the middle of the screen. So let's go this way. Let's see here. You can see it right there. See, there's a battery symbol. It is not telling me, oh, that's the internal battery that it's using because I switched it over here. Okay, let me switch the camera to use the external battery. So I go to page three of five and switch it to BG, battery grip. And so now the camera's using the internal battery. It's, it says camera operations in progress because it's touched the camera. Um, okay, so it still just shows the battery symbol. It does not differentiate. So we're seeing the battery status, but we're not able to tell which battery it's actually using. So there you go. So there's the answer to your question. Sorry that took so long to get to. Um, all right. Facebook International Space Station is now live. Isn't that cool? Okay. So back to this question. So let me read this again. Um, let's bring this back up. Where'd that question go? Oh, SRO Digital is answering the question, I think. Um, do you know what the front removal ring is on the 15 mil Leica G, Leica, Lumix Leica lens, this one, other than to provide a reference spot for the aperture ring and to cover the hood mount? So, and then he's also saying you need these, you're answering your own question. You need to remove the ring to attach the lens shade. So this is the lens shade that it comes with. So if there was a ring that had to be removed to attach this, I don't remember that because I've had this lens for years and I put this on and basically never take it off. So if there is a ring on there, um, it sounds like you've answered your own question. You need to take that ring off to attach this. When you get this, it, it comes with a regular lens cap, but then when you put the lens shade on, the regular lens cap no longer fits, so it also comes with this nice little rubber one that pops on there. It's actually quite a nice little package. It's a really good lens. So there you go. There you go. Okay. Um, I guess that. Live show, Poking at Murphy's Law. Oh, me and Murphy, we go way back. Oh, we have... Okay, um, I think that's it. Hey, what are you going to do? So, 
Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday. Wednesday is the next show. Wednesday show, I'm going to do something that people have been asking for for a while, and that is to revisit the wireless microphone connected to your iPhone video. I did a video a while ago. It became one of my most popular videos ever. It's like 40 minutes, 45 minutes long because I went into the whole in-depth of why it doesn't work the way you think it should and what you have to do, and it's a very intricate I get more comments on there telling me to make a short version of that, some of them aren't very nice, um, than pretty much any other video. So I am going to do a short version on it on Wednesday with some updates because some of the tech has changed with what you needed before, but what you need now if you're using an iPhone 10 or an iPhone 8. So that will be on Wednesday show. So if you're interested in that, be sure to stick around for that or come back for that. Okay, that's it. We're out of here. Um, that's it. We're going to wrap up the show. Take care of yourselves, everybody. We'll see you next time. 